Tonight's Medical Journal segment brings us a meeting with Dr. Joseph Gross. Tonight the good doctor talks about a subject making headlines everywhere, the bird flu. Let's take a look. Hello, my name is Dr. Joseph Gross and I am an infectious disease specialist with Pentucket Medical Associates and the Merrimack Valley Hospital. I would like to talk to you today about avian influenza, commonly known as bird flu. Influenza, also known as the flu, is a specific virus that infects humans and animals, especially birds. There are more than 15 different types of influenza. All of them infect birds, but only a few are able to infect people. Avian flu refers to the types of influenza that infects only birds. Right now, there is a strain of avian flu circulating among birds in Southeast Asia that is important for several reasons. Not only has it spread through the bird population very quickly, but it has also been able to infect some people. As of early November 2005, 122 people have been diagnosed with it. And of these 122 people, half of them have died. One of the reasons why so many of these people have died is that this particular bird flu is entirely different from any flu that has circulated among people in the recent past. The symptoms of bird flu in these people have been fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Some of them have also had diarrhea. Symptoms of a cold, such as sore throat or runny nose, have not been seen. So far, bird flu has only been transmitted to people in Southeast Asia and only to people who have caught it directly from infected birds. All types of influenza virus change very quickly. Each year, the human type of flu virus is slightly different from last year's, and we need a new vaccine each year to prevent it. Similarly, there is a chance that the bird flu could also change and become more contagious and infect a larger number of people. If this happens, it might then be transmitted from person to person. Because the flu shots we have now do not prevent bird flu, this might result in a pandemic or a wave of infection that affects the entire world. This has not happened yet, but it could. Even though avian influenza is very dangerous, we do have ways to fight it. The influenza drugs Oseltamivir, also known as Tamiflu, and Zinamivir, or Relenza, can be used against it. In addition, a special bird flu shot has been made that is able to prevent it. Although all of these are in extremely short supply, it is hoped that with increased production and more research into how to use them effectively, we can prevent and treat this disease if it starts to spread. This is Dr. Joseph Gross for the Haverhill Medical Journal and Merrimack Valley Hospital.